model keyword whenever you are doing some changes in the ts file it will be affected in this place whenever you are doing some changes in the html page this will be affected in the ts file without doing anything just this is called two-way data binding okay two-way interaction will be happen most of the time we will be having one-way data binding nowadays any java page java to sp page java to jsp pages or dotnet to asp.net or php to html page like that anywhere if you see one way data binding only will be there but here we have two way data binding also one way data binding also there we will discuss those things because why angular got more popular means because of this dependency injection concept and two way data binding we have other extra features also but more popular when compared to other tech other frameworks other js frameworks this this has specific extra features are this one okay we have react also competitor so that react what happens here we, there we don't have the two way data binding okay so that here we have specific feature in angular only we have this two way data binding okay and dependency injection concept that's the reason angular got more popular and who introduced this one this one uh, uh, google people introduced and maintained by google people only so why we need to learn angular we came to know and who introduced also we came to know now what is angular so now i want to know what is angular angular is a client side javascript framework client side javascript framework okay javascript framework so why i'm saying client side javascript framework means always this is useful for client side development purpose only not server side at all okay so that's the reason we are say, what is angular means it's the client side javascript framework okay for what purpose we are going to use we are going to use for developing the spa people will say spa what is spa means single page web application integration purpose we are going to use this uh, angular single page web application if you want to do that time we are going to use angular application what is single page web applications normally we will be having we will normally we will be having <clears throat> two types of web applications traditional web application and single page web application traditional web application means <coughs> any website you can take any website you can take what will happen na take in solutions or something anything you can take what will happen right it will be navigating from one page to another page whenever we are navigating from one menu to another menu if you observe here what will happen is just you can see here see now if i click on about us then what will happen server hit is happening every time when i click on another page server hit will happen if you found some that page inside the server then only i will be displaying this content if i don't found i will be getting 404 error if i click on any one of the page each and every time server hit will happen and then if you found some data in the server then only you will be getting the output otherwise you will not get this is called traditional web application okay then what is single page web application actually ang single angular is providing single page web application what is single page web application means if you take angular.io only okay their core site of this one is angular.io if you take this website also what happen now see i have same menu only okay but uh, if you see here what happens right if you click on this one or if you click on this one no reloading happening no server hit will happen dynamically this web content will be rendering dynamically okay using routing concept dynamically this render will happen that is the beauty of this single page web application means always <coughs> only one index.html page only will be rendered in the browser but based on the routing the urls will be changing and do, no reloading happening you can see no server hit will happen okay whatever dynamic data we have we will be getting but no server hit will happen dynamically this content will be rendering okay that is called single page web application am i clear T traditional web application means each and every time each and every menu clicking time server hit will happen and once we found the data in the server then only we will be displaying this content otherwise 404 error or 500 server error will come but when it comes to single page web application what will happen right if you click on this one also using routing concept dynamically we will render same similar like we have multiple html pages but always only one index.html page only will be rendered that's the reason this is called single page web applications okay angular is providing single page web applications and also ria 
because of this one ria means rich internet web application integration purpose we are going to use angular okay rich internet web application purpose we are going to use angular okay so because of this reason only what is angular we came to know why where we are going to use this angular also we came to know why we need to learn also we came to know right clear okay so now what i want to do is just uh, people are con getting confused in the names only people are getting confused in the name itself some people will call angular js some people will call angular some people will call angular is there any difference between this or not yes we have difference one point x version only we will be calling there is a misconception in these names also even hs also they will get confused okay so what is the difference between this is yes to one point x version of angular is we will call angular js two point x version and above two point x version four point x version five point x version six point x version seven point x version eight point x version all these versions we will call angular only okay one point x version only we will call angular js okay so even even google people also separated even google people also separated separate site if i want to learn anything about angular js i have to go to angular js dot org is the site okay if i want to learn anything about angular there is a separate site called angular dot io is the site okay any one of these above versions two and above version if you want to learn we have to go to angular dot io here any one of the version if you want to learn then we have to go to this angular js that word for our understanding purpose you can see angular dot io is this one and if you want to see one point x version angular js dot org okay this is called one point x version if you want to angular js application if you want to play with angular js application you no need to learn anyone you need to go join any training just you can click on this come to this site and you can click on this one as like jquery bootstrap or some other libraries how we are including similar way you can include this file in our index.html we are done you no need to learn anything about angular directly you can follow the syntax of angular js documentation is here we have so <coughs> with this with this we can learn that we can play with angular js code there is no problem but uh, even angular js people also asking us to follow this try with the new angular means nowadays all the people are suggesting us to use this one because this angular two and above has some folder structure okay and this is a framework so what is happening it has some folder structure so it will follow if we have to understand them folder of that flow and all the things the extra features are there actually why we are not using angular js means that is specific to small applications purpose if you are developing using this angular js using this angular js if you are developing big big applications people are getting i mean the complexity is becoming more okay so that's the reason what happens is instead of using that angular js angular people asking us to use angular okay so that's the reason just to click, come to this angular that i o and click on this get started so that what happens here you will be able to see all the versions see in now you can see stable today to this one came nine version but you can see here Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Today we got this one. So all the things, all the things we can able to see. See now all these versions we will be able to learn Angular that I have only. That's what I told here. You can see now two and above all the versions we can able to see. And Angular JS one point X and Angular JS that was it. This got introduced on 2010. 2010 Angular JS came into picture. Now we have 1.7 version. Okay, one point seven version. Next year onwards, they are not going to release any versions also, and they are going to support it, but they are not going to release any versions. That's what they came to know. Okay, and now every this got introduced on September two thousand sixteen. This got introduced on September two thousand sixteen. Four point X version came into picture on May two thousand seventeen. This one came into picture on uh, October two thousand seventeen. Okay, this one came into picture on 
I think every six months, simply you can say six months, every six months they are introducing one one version. So they are following agile pattern. Okay, so that's the reason they are simply releasing each and every version. You no need to worry for any of this one. Okay, 31st October, uh, this got introduced. Okay, and uh, 31st October. Okay, and this one got introduced on May 2019. Okay, now this month only, this one month, this, today only we got this 9 point version. Okay, so current version is 9.0 version. Okay, current version is 9.0. You can see actually it should be released on October, got, but it got postponed to this month. Okay, so now we have current version is 9.0 version. You can see now 9.0 version came. Okay, so all these versions, we if you want to learn any one of the version, simply click on that one. Core site is this one, Angular 2. If you click on this one, you, it will navigate us to the uh, core core document of Angular 2 version. If you want to learn anything about 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8, you can simply click on the drop down so that you will be able to see all the versions and you are able to navigate also. Is it clear? So if I want to learn any version, okay but uh, you, you may get confused see do i need to learn two or four or five or six or seven or eight what is the version i have to learn you can learn any one of the version no problem if you are able to work with any one of the version you will be able to play with any version also two and above version any one of the version if you also if you know also you can able to play with all the versions because it is similar but why we have this many then some additional features see whatever drawbacks we have here that one are uh, recovered in this place some additional features added some additional features added and performance they concentrated on improving the performance that also each and every version slowly improved that's the reason we are getting this many versions you no need to worry for all these versions i am going to show you one project with the two point version also and 5.x version also one project and this one using latest version today we have nine version right using this nine version only we are going to create one scratch one e-commerce project from scratch onwards we are going to develop inside the class itself okay and we are going to implement all the CRUD operations all the end-to-end -end flow also responsive nowadays everyone is asking for responsive including responsive we are going to develop one project and end-to-end -end flow or we can came to know before developing that starting that dev project what we are going to do is each and every concept like uh, services components directives modules pipes all the new concepts whatever there in angular all the things with the uh, examples first we will play once we blend all the uh, concepts individually we will implement real time real time how we can integrate in real time project that we will do it in e-commerce project so that we will get confidence on first to be concept then after real time usage also we will came to know so that that will be useful in our real time situations okay <clears throat> that's what our intention clear now next thing what is the thing now in our session in our three weeks session what we are going to do is we are going to learn only we are going to concentrate on only angular 2 and above versions I am not going to concentrate on any 1.x version. Reason is Angular JS and Angular fully different. This is simply one library. If you include, we are done. Okay. This is also useful for developing the space single page applications. This is also client size JavaScript framework. But a simple one library work, a simple one library file, if you include, done. But here we have some folder structure, we have some flow. If it is useful for independent modules and all the development purpose, big, big applications purpose, this Angular is useful. So how it is integrating all the things, each and every file uses, the folder structure we are saying, sample application like this, you will be able to see. Any project you can say, this is one Angular project. So what happens like this folder structure you will have. And if you open any folder, you will be having this folder structure. Each and every file uses, why we have these many files? In Angular, there's only one library is there, but why we have these many files? Each and every file, what is the use also we will discuss. Okay, before going that, I we as we have 1.7 version. So as I'm saying, this is different and this is different. So what are the differences? Why we have this one and why it came into this one came? So those things, major things. I don't want to discuss more in depth of this one, but I want to show you <coughs> major things. Already some people may work on AngularJS. They will come to know. 
and also we should be aware of what is the previous version we have when compared to angular 2 and below so this is one so what is the main difference is this is developed using pure javascript first thing is this is developed with pure javascript because of that reason only javascript framework this one okay here angular what two and above what happened now they are using typescript as a main language they are using typescript as a main language here javascript as a main language but here typescript as a main language they are using that is the only difference we know javascript is the father of all the scripting languages so we know and most of the people will know if they if you don't know anything about javascript also no need to worry we have to see in this w3 schools or tutorial point or java t point Go, ang angular is google people introduced why we need to learn angular means dependency injection concept <clears throat> and also so one of our friend is again saying something okay thank you all <clears throat> now why we need to le learn angular means because of two features to a dependency injection concept and two way data binding we, these are the two additional features we have when compared to other scripting language other javascript frameworks okay that's the reason angular got more popular and what is angular means it is a client side javascript framework it is useful for developing the single page web applications it is useful for developing the single page web applications also useful for rich internet in web applications what is single page web application we have two types of web applications traditional web application and single page web application single page web application means we know right it, it by name itself we can understand it is a single page always index.html only will be rendered dynamic in the, will be rendered in the browser but remaining all the pages dynamically render in the html page index.html page how it is here like this way angular.io if you take what happens you, here there is no server it will happen dynamically all the pages will be loaded okay so that is the reason just uh, this is called single page web application okay this is called single page application because of dynamically rendering all the pages but when it comes to traditional web application what happens each and every page server hit will happen and you will get the response okay that is how we will be getting a uh, single page application means always only one index.html will render okay that's the reason this is got more popular now in even in java also they are using even in a .NET also php also all the places we are using spa only because rendering will be faster and also some people will get confused with the name name itself angular js people will say some people will say angular also people will say some people will say angular also so what is the difference between these two things means 1.x version we will say angular js 2.x version and above versions we will say angular only okay so if, if by name itself not only name itself if you want if you see here if angular js www.anglerjs.org is the site where we can see where we can learn angular js only if you if you go to angular.io site there we can learn angular only okay one point x version got released on 2010 and today we have latest version of 1.7 okay and today we have 9.0 okay and this two point x version got introduced on september 2016 each and every six months they released one one version you no need to worry for all this version any one of the version if you are able to learn that's it no need you can able to work on all these versions 
in our session we are going to learn one project with the 2.x version and 5.x version one project and 9.x version using 9.x version today we have the 9.x version so that 9.x version using this one we are going to develop one e-commerce project from scratch in the class itself okay and to end flow we are going to do crud operations all the things we are going to implement in the class itself okay so before and also we are going to implement responsive site also how we can integrate with bootstrap or material also i'm going to explain also what we are going to see is before going to start this e-commerce project i want to let you know each and every concepts so like a component directives data binding okay services pipes all the things was individually one one concept individually we will learn and with examples then we will come to this e-commerce project so that normal concept wise we will come to one clarification and then real time where exactly we are going to use all these concepts also we will came to know so real time this is useful for real time purpose okay now <clears throat> Now, in our session, we are going to learn 2.x version and above only. I am going to concentrate on only these versions only because I don't want to concentrate. Uh, I don't want to concentrate this one because this is this is different. This is different. What is difference? What is the differences we have in this place and this place? Main difference is in you see Angular JS is purely developed with JavaScript. <clears throat> Angular JS is purely developed with JavaScript. But uh, when it comes to Angular, it got developed with purely TypeScript. Okay, Angular is purely developed with TypeScript. <clears throat> okay, so what is the um, so uh, here I can understand if you see uh, uh, script JavaScript is a father of <clears throat> all the scripting languages. So if you are, don't know also, we don't need to bother about anything. Just uh, simply we can go to W3 schools or Java point or tutorial point so that we will be able to get more clarity. But when it comes to TypeScript, what is this TypeScript? TypeScript is a new concept. So what is this TypeScript means? TypeScript is a super set of JavaScript. What is TypeScript means? Super set of JavaScript. Again, this is also a JavaScript, but additional features, additional features we will be having. Okay, means uh, whatever JavaScript features we have, all the JavaScript features, I can also write it inside the TypeScript. There is no problem. Okay, then why we have TypeScript? Because of superset. This is a superset of JavaScript. Means uh, TypeScript will contain oops features, object oriented programming features. And also, I can specify the type. What is type? Means see, in JavaScript, what happen if I define any variable? If I define in JavaScript, what we are going to do? If I want to define any variables or anything, just where a equal to 10 or something or 80 or some string you can mention, anything you can mention, no problem. Okay, but uh, when it comes to when it comes to when it comes to uh, TypeScript, what happens is you can define. See, for example, if I specify 80, then it will accept. If I specify string, also it is going to accept. If I specify array, also it is going to accept. But uh, when it comes to when it comes to TypeScript, what will happen? Right, we will be re having the restrictions. We can specify where, yeah, what is the type of this variable, either number or string or boolean. You can go. <coughs> you can use it. What is the type of this variable? Also, we can specify. We can specify this one okay and so that what happens is this variable will accept only number if i specify string means this string, this variable will accept only strings only like that we can restrict also we can specify the type of the variable so that's the reason this name also got renamed like a typescript we can specify the type okay and we have the oops features these are the two major features we have in TypeScript. That's the reason in Angular, we are using all these things, all these two point above versions. We are using TypeScript as a main language. Because of that reason, you can see in any file, if you take, you can see, I can understand these JS files. Okay, but if you see here inside, you will be able to see a lot of TS files. Lot of TS files are there, dot TS files. So all these TS files, if you want to understand, we we are using this is TypeScript is a main language. That's the reason. If you see any one of this project, Angular project, each and every place, you will be able to see dot TS files. Dot TS files means TypeScript. Okay, clear. So here JavaScript is a main language. JavaScript is a main language. Here TypeScript is a main language. That is the one of the major difference. 
okay and also another thing here if i want to integrate two way data banding and also see first thing is dependency injection concept is there right so dependency injection concept why we how we can integrate in this place i told you one of the best feature we have so in angular js also we have dependency injection concept how we can integrate this one is simply using using this uh, this one inside we have controllers concept here we have controllers okay controllers and dollar scope variable controller plus dollar scope variable using these two things we are going to develop the Ganges, you are going to use implement the dependency injection concept this is not. in angular js if we want to implement the dependency injection concept we are going to use controller and dollar scope so why we need to go for dependency injection concept why we need to go for dependency injection concept means simply here what happens here if you want to access some third party services or third party modules or built in services or built in modules third party means some angular people already provided those things if you want to access into your application that time we are going to use dependency injection concept without developing total functionality simply if you want to access the functional functionality only if you want to get the feature of that uh, service or module that time you can use this dependency injection concept here also we have dependency injection concept then what is the use of dependency injection concept means here what happens is how we can integrate dependency injection concept means using constructor <coughs> using constructor we are going to integrate dependency injection concept because here we have oops features here we have oops features so every oops features will contain classes so inside every class we will be having constructor so <clears throat> anywhere if you want to access any third party services or third party modules we are going to use constructor and we are able to access all the third party services or third party modules or built in services or built in modules okay so this is how we can integrate the dependency injection concept okay i will show you practically but i want you to let you know differences major differences also one other one another thing is there what one way data binding and two way data binding so here how we can integrate one way data binding one way data binding i'll say okay how we can integrate data binding means simply you can say uh, using this ng bind ng bind keyword using ng bind directive ng bind directive okay we are going to integrate one way data binding if you want to integrate two way data binding we can use if if you want to integrate two way data binding we can use ng model here we are going to use ng iphone model this is another directive so using these two directives we will be achieving one way data binding and two way data binding the same thing here also we have here if you want to integrate two way one way data binding what happens now we have to one way data binding if you want to use one way data binding if you want to use what we can do is simply ng model we are going to use ng model we are going to use this is one of the directive okay if i want to integrate two way data binding what we can do right using same thing only but here we have extra brackets will be there normal bracket will be there and square bracket also will be there and m is capital this is case sensitive javascript is case sensitive typescript also case sensitive so if you observe here what happens here we have capital m and the two way data binding if you want to achieve two brackets one way data binding is one square bracket only here what happens here what happens here one way data binding is ng bind directive two way data binding is ng model directive. okay so in this one we will be achieve we will be achieving the one way data binding and two way data binding what we are going to use data binding to get the data from view to model view model to view here one way interaction means view to model if you want to send the data or okay then model to view if you want to send the one communication if you want to do one way data binding two way communication if you want to do that time two way data binding we are going to use okay so that's purpose we are going to use this one so view to model model to view communication purpose we are going to use data binding okay concept i will show you practically but i want to show you the differences here i want you to know the differences in angular js we have 74 built in directives we have 74 built 
what is derivative i mean to say built in derivatives means already angular people only given these derivatives okay 74 built in derivatives angular js people introduced what are those the example is n this space n this space in it okay n this space uh, if n this space repeat okay n this space and this space repeat okay and then this space uh, for and this space for uh, and this space and the we have like this okay and not mg for we don't have mg space by um, like uh, like the mg bind okay like this we have 74 derivatives so what is derivative now we have some doubt because we have new one right so what is derivative so what is derivative means derivative is a keyword <clears throat> derivative is a keyword like mg app also there okay so like this we have 74 built-in directives okay all these directives will get some having some specific meaning each and every directive has some specific meaning okay so what is directive means directive is a keyword which will give some additional features to our html tags which will give some additional features to our html tags if you are if you have any doubts or if you are not able to hear please respond in the chat window so that i came to know okay so that uh, we will get clarity otherwise uh, um, like uh, what will happen okay so as the previous it will happen so now i don't want to get the disturbance you can see now ng in it means it is useful for some if you want to initialize some variables inside the HTML tag, that time we are going to use this directive. MGIF means in, inside my Angular JS code, if I want to keep some condition, that time I'm going to use this directive. If I want to read some array of elements, I'm going to use this MG repeat. If I want to do the one-way data binding, I'm going to use this MG bind directive. If I want to initialize, see, but if you keep this MG if an app, then only all the angle, whatever code you are going to write, all the things see, inside this. See, for example, if you are starting with any Angular JS application, you have to keep this one like this. This directive first we have to keep. Where will you keep this one? The, from there onwards, browser can understand. Okay, from here onwards, I need to trick whatever new keywords I'm founding. All the things I have to treat like a Angular JS code. If you don't keep this one and if you implement all the angular js code and try to run it it will not work this is the initializer means this directive will will have the all the definition all the bootstrapping all the stuff so that's the reason where this is the syntax of angular js code i mean to say okay so what this directive will do this will indicate the browser to this ng iphone app directive will do the give the instructions to browser so from here onwards you please treat whatever new keywords you are founding those things you please treat it like a angular js code if you don't keep this directive means it will not treat as like a angular js code if you want to initialize any variables like this then we have to use mgif and init and you have to assign some variables inside the html page inside the html page i'm talking about all the directives will apply on html page only okay so like this we have 74 directives each and every directive has some specific meaning okay so like this we have specific meaning so whenever we want we will use it otherwise we will leave it so we have 74 built-in directives here in angular js when it comes to angular what happens is we have only six built-in directives we have only six built-in directives only we have that too based on the functionality with this got different this got separated into two types based on the functionality based on the uses based on the functionality of the directive they got split into two types in all two whatever we are talking about in angular means all these things are going to support means all the things will come under okay two and above all the things will come come into angular only okay so based on the functionality we have the directives of two types over here yeah there first in angular js we have 74 directives there is no types okay but in angular two and above we have two types of directives first is attribute directives and second one is structural directives structural structural directives two types of directives we have so what is the uh, what are those things is just uh, what is attribute directives means ng style ng style directive one of the directive okay and uh, ng class another directive okay ng ng model sorry ng model 
these three derivatives are called attribute derivatives and uh, these three derivatives i mean to say here i want to show you like this and then here we have three more derivatives what are those ng if okay ng for the case tends to see in our angular case we have all the derivatives will contain hyphen and all are small letters but here what happens all are capital letters no hyphens will be there okay so ng switch switch case okay so these are the three derivatives will have the structure we will call these three derivatives are structural derivatives we will call these three derivatives called act attribute derivatives why why reason is if you use this derivative or this derivative or this derivative inside our html page this will change only look and feel this will change only look and feel this will not change anything this will change only look and feel like border uh, okay or some colors okay like that it will change the look and feel of the element some people will say behavior of the element but uh, when it comes to structural derivatives it will change the dom structure document object model this will change the dom structure so wherever you are using this mg for mg for mg switch these derivatives will change the dom structure what is dom you can see if you inspect any website you will be able to see this one that's called dom structure <clears throat> this is called dom structure okay this this structure is called dom structure if you move out a move also you will be able to see all the dom structure okay so this is called dom structure so wherever you are using in our angular code if you are using ng for ng for ng switch case these derivatives will change the dom structure and these derivatives will change only look and feel that's the reason we have two types of derivatives we have two types of derivatives okay okay so is it clear right so why we have this one derivatives what is derivative means derivative is a simple keyword which will give some additional features to our html tags which will give some additional features to our html tags okay okay and what is dependency injection we are clear and now if you see here in this place major differences these are the major differences you can see here okay and also inside this one here we can see the difference is mg model and also forms things most majorly we will be seeing these differences okay so these are the major difference i don't want to go in depth a lot of difference are there but majorly these are the differences we can see clearly okay so now i would like to start the angular because i don't want to make this one continue like this i want to start angular now i want to concentrate on only angular because already we know what is endpoint jsx and two world are some differences now i want to concentrate on only angular so what is angular now i want to start with this if you want to start with this what are the pre requirements we need what are the pre requirements need because we will coming from different different back, backgrounds so i want to know what are the pre requirements if you want to start with angular so first thing is we are going to use html first thing is we have to use html okay second thing is css third thing is javascript okay these are the three things we need to implement and if you want to start with angular before that we have to see all this stuff if you have basic idea of these three things then we can start with angular what is html where we we need to learn this one because in our angular we are going to develop the templates also we are going to develop the html part so the template inside each and every component will have the separate html page so that time you have to implement all the html code so basic idea of html code is we needed to develop the static web pages we are going to use html what is html means hypertext markup language okay now we have five version okay so if you learn this one if you don't know anything about html we can come simply come to tutorial point or java t point or double three schools that is sufficient if you still need something extra then i will give also no problem but that is more more than enough only one site if you follow there we will be having all the documentation simply one one or two hours if you spend you will get more confidence enough tutorial point or java t point if you go you will be able to see all the things java t point so there we can get all the basic idea of <clears throat> you can see simply you can come over here if as there is syntax what are the new tags we have all the things we will be able to get it over here what is html tags all the things if you see 
that's it example also we can practice it okay and css what is your css means cascading style sheet to make the look and feel like borders or font family or size increasing background color changing like that look and feel purpose we are going to use css3 today we have css3 version okay so css also if we have some basic idea and javascript so to do the functionality see static pages we will be developing with this html css but I, if i click on some buttons or if i click on some hover i want to show some functionality that time i can go for javascript for doing the validations for doing the functionality purpose we are going to use this javascript in our angular also TypeScript is the main language, but uh, what is TypeScript? It is a super set of JavaScript. Means we should be aware of all the JavaScript features. Then only you will be getting, uh, you will be, you will, we can be able to work on any complex functionality also. Okay. So these are the three prerequirements we need. So we are sure about these three things. Okay, no problem. I want to know what are the additional things we need to know. What are the softwares we are going to do? What are the softwares we need to start with Angular? So first thing I need is simply some editor, editor we need, editor. So what editor you want me to use? If you are Java developer, you can go for Eclipse also. If you are .NET developer, you can go for Visual Studio also. If you are PHP developer, you can go for WebStorm also. There is no problem. But uh, if you are purely working on Angular, I will suggest you to go with Visual Studio Code. Okay, Visual Studio Code. Why it is I'm suggesting is just uh, Visual Studio Code is open source, not Visual Studio, Visual Studio, <laughs> Studio Code, code.visualstudio.com. If you click on this, you will be get the clarity. Okay, so in this place, why I'm choosing this one means inbuilt debugger will be there. Inbuilt terminal will have open source. First is a terminal we have and uh, open source this is open source means uh, uh, um, um, it is available on all OS. okay and free license this is free okay this is free also and uh, available on all ways lightweight also because of this reason only i'm suggesting to use this one if you don't use also no worries there is no restriction to use this one only if you are there, habituated with Eclipse also, you can. If you are habituated with Visual Studio, you can. If you are habituated with Visual Studio, dot webstorm also, you can. Any editor you can use, there is no problem. Okay, but suggestible, you can go with this one. So code.visualstudio.com, if you specify, you will be able to see this, uh, this version. What I'm saying here, you can see. Visual Studio is paid one again. Dot .NET people will use. See here, all the versions it is available. Inbuilt debugger will be there okay and lightweight also if you want to download this one simply click on this one you will be getting lightweight also okay okay so that's the reason i'm suggesting go over this one another thing so i will get this one with your studio code okay executable file okay another thing what is the i want to execute the application for that purpose what i have to do i want to execute the application for that purpose what i have to do i have to use the node to run the application angular application inter, in, internally i want to execute angular application in my local system that time that for that purpose we have to use node.js okay we have to use node.js and also if you want to deploy it any server or something uh, you can use any verse any server no problem i will show you how to deploy in github okay i will show you how to deploy in github for that purpose we need these three things that's it okay how to deploy the angular application how we can generate the production build and development build how we can deploy in any server i will show you using github because i don't have separate server so i'm going to show you how we can deploy in github so these are the three things we need for the software as a software editor you can use any one of the editor but suggestible is visual studio code node.js i need for running the application purpose running the application purpose i need node.js and github account i want to deploy that one so that's the reason these three things are needed for us okay so that's it so now what i have to do so now i know the software i know the prerequirements now it's time to start angular so if you want to start angular we are saying that typescript is the main language if you don't without if you don't want to learn anything about typescript if you want to start also we can start but my intention is i want you to understand each and every word what we are writing I already told you if why these many folders we have, right? So if you take any project, what happens? These many files we have. So I don't I want to understand each and every file. Why we have these many files? Each and every file for what purpose? Okay, I want to understand this one also. I would like to explain each and every file why we have kept this one. 
okay so if you want to understand all these things we need to understand what are the new features we have in typescript and how we can play with typescript first we will see for half an hour then we will start directly angular is it clear or if you want me to skip typescript i can continue also but my intention is i want you to understand each and everything why uh, but typescript also new one javascript most of the people will play with this but typescript uh, this is a new one which is used in angular and react also so first i want to give the brief major features like uh, angular how we had given major features frequently what we are going to use those things i would like to give then we will straight away start the angular how we can set up the angular application how many ways we can play online how many ways offline all the things one by one we will see okay so i would like to start with first typescript what is typescript what is typescript typescript is a super set of javascript okay if i want to learn anything about typescript we have to go to typescript lang dot org typescript lang dot org typescript lang dot org you can go to it okay you can see now typescript lang.org lang.org is the site if you see here you can you can come to this one so here we have the typescript lang.org so in this place all the typescript related new features all the stuff we will be able to see okay so we will be able to see clear you can see now right so here we have the documentation and if you want to play with typescript if you want to play with typescript before going to play with typescript see the angular js is developed with angular type javascript okay then the angular also we are saying this is also a javascript framework but uh, we are using typescript why we need to go for typescript we have javascript already it is a father of scripting all the languages why we need to go for typescript because of we know right we have the ps boost features and type also that is the only reason or any other reasons are there yes we have other reason our javascript is following es5 standards our javascript is following es5 standards only what is es5 okay ecma script 5 okay ecma script 5 okay what is ecma script 5 means european computer manufacturer association ecma means european computer manufacturer association one organization is there that organization will give all the instructions to all the scripting languages that organization will give the instructions to all the scripting languages now our javascript is supporting only es5 standards only but uh, our typescript is supporting es6 standards yes. es5 es5 also okay es5 standards es6 standards okay es7 standards today we have es8 also all these standards are going to, every year they are going to release this ecma script people will release every year some standards so our javascript is supporting only es5 standards but our typescript is supporting es6 es7 es8 also okay so because of that reason only we have in es6 we have the new features called oops features let the constant okay and uh, enums generics uh, okay like that we have lot of features we have so those features we will be having in this place okay so clear okay okay so this is that's that is the new feature we have in this place okay so that's the reason typescript is now we are using in all the scripting languages because nowadays java people will use only os features php people work on only os features dart and people work on only os features but in coming to javascript what happens we are going to follow only functions and there is no class syntax inside the uh, javascript pure javascript if you want to write a class in this we have to write function inside function like that we have to write in javascript but when it comes to typescript what happens na as like how we are writing in java or .net similar way here also i can define the class syntax class using class keyword 
okay and i can use all the java 8 features in this place arrow functions and lambda expressions okay and the enums all the things we can use it in this place also that's the reason now angular people are using typescript as a main language here in angular 2 and above versions okay if i want to play with typescript Okay, if you want to play with TypeScript, I can come to this TypeScript plan that works. Who introduced this one? Ander Hilsberg is the person. Ander Hilsberg is the person. He is from Microsoft. He is Ander is the person. He, okay, he is the he is from TypeScript is introduced by Ander Hilsberg. He is from Microsoft. Okay, those who are working on .NET, they get to know this name because the same person introduced the C# .NET also. Shisha dot net who introduced the same person introduced TypeScript also. Okay, so that's the reason this got uh, this is not from Microsoft only, but uh, Angular people are Angular is Google. Okay, so this is one thing. Another thing, if you okay. play so all types, you want to play few TypeScript, then you can play online also. You can play with offline also. Okay, first one, wow, if you want to play online means, what happens is, there is a playground option in our typescriptlang.org. In this site, if you see, there is a menu called playground. If you click on this one, you will be able to play with TypeScript code directly online. If you want to play with offline means in our local system, I want to set up local system. How we can do also, I will show you. Okay. So first I want to play with TypeScript. Okay. So online I want to play. For that purpose, first initial Daddy. 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 Okay, but uh, our JavaScript is supporting only ES5 standards. But uh, all the browsers also will support only ES5 standards only. Whatever new features you are going to write in TypeScript, those things are not going to support by browsers, all the browsers. I mean to say Chrome browser will work, but other browsers, Mozilla, Safari, Internet Explorer, those browsers will not support all the features. So that's the reason, whatever TypeScript code we will write, in Angular, those types of code will be converted into JavaScript as like Java. Okay, whatever types of code we are going to write, that code we are going to convert into JavaScript. Then, then only we will be able to see the output in the browser. Whatever types of code we are going to write, that code will should be converted into JavaScript. Then only we will be able to see the output. So this conversion who will take care? That conversion will be taken care by TypeScript compiler. There is a compiler called TypeScript compiler. Simply we will say TSC. TypeScript compiler. Okay, this is called simply you will say TSC. Okay, so this compiler will compile all the TS code into JavaScript code. Okay, so this process is called transpilation. Transpilation. This process is called transpilation. Okay, so whatever types of code you are going to write, if you want to see the output, you have to compile that one into JavaScript. That compilation who will take care? Type people only introduce their own compiler called TypeScript TSC, TypeScript compiler. That compiler will compile that TS code into JS code. No, you don't have to bother about anything. So if you see here, if you want to play online, if you click on this one, left side you will be seeing TypeScript and left right side you will be able to see type uh, JavaScript anchor. See, this is an online tool. Simply I will click on this one. Or you can see some control or uh, constant. Or you can see simply you can see here whatever code you, are, you want to write in TypeScript code that you can write it over here that will be converted into this one. You can see clearly. Okay. For example, I want to write uh, where a equal to okay a number type here i, I said right because of type script we have the, we can specify the type also so i will specify where number equal to 40 okay and you can see now in my left side this is an online tool this is an online tool so i have written left side type script code this got converted into javascript code like this in javascript code like this we have so this is online tool so i don't need to bother about anything simply if i want to see this output what i have to do you have to for yes, in JavaScript, if you want to see the output, what are the ways we can see? First option is either console.log. You can ping me. Anyone can ping me. How many ways I can see the JavaScript output? Console.log we can use. Agree or not? Another option, alert. Another option, document.getElementById. 
ओके डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट राइट आल्सो वी कैन यूज राइट एलन आल्सो वी कैन यूज ओके एंड डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट गेट एलिमेंट बाय आईडी एंड डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट गेट एलिमेंट बाय आईडी एंड डॉट इनर हिस्टीएमएल आर इनर टेक्स्ट इन आर हिस्ट एम एल आर इन आर टेक्स यूज इन दिस टैंक वी कैन एबल टू सी द आउटपुट ओके सो दीज आर द वेज वी कैन सी दावर स्क्रिप्ट कोड आउटपुट इन द ब्रउजर सो नाउ मई सिचुएशन इज द सेम ऐ हेड डिफेंस सम वेरियबल ऐ वॉन्ट टू सी द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस वन सो हाउ कैन ऐ सी दट वन एनी वन ऑफ द फोर ऑप्शन वी कैन यूज फर्स्ट ऐ वुड लाइक टू शो यू विथ अलर्ट ऑप्शन ओके सो अलर्ट ये ऐ विल शो दैन ऐ फेर रन दिस एप्लीकेशन ऐ विल बी एबल टू सी द आउटपुट गॉट इट clear or not so now i want to play with this an extra things if i add a specified number i will write to as like a string will i can i it is not going to support you can see clearly it is throwing error for us it is not going to support for us it is throwing error the number is not assignable to string not assignable to type because this is a string so i am here this it will throw directly error if i keep proper number it will not it will going to accept ओके सो दिस इज स्ट्रिक्टली टाइप्ड अनदर थिंग अनदर थिंग व्हाट आई वांट टू डू आई जस्ट वांट टू शो यू वेयर बी स्ट्रिंग टाइप आई एम गोइंग टू फेस दिस टाइम हियर नंबर मींस इट मे बी डेसिमल इट मे बी बुलियन लॉन्ग सॉरी लॉन्ग नंबर और फ्रैक्शन एनी नंबर इज गोइंग टू सपोर्ट ओके इफ यू स्पेस पे स्ट्रिंग मींस कैरेक्टर ऑल द थिंग्स विल कम इन दिस प्लेस स्ट्रिंग ओनली ओके सो नाउ आई विल स्पेस पे स्ट्रिंग और बिफोर गोइंग टू दैट आई विल स्पेस पे नंबर Will it accept directly destroying error? So what I have to do? I have to specify only string. So if you want to see this output, what I can do? Simply this time I will let either you can use alert or I can use console log, console dot log off, console dot log off. Okay, B I will like to specify. Okay, so that what happens? I will be able to see the output. Now if you click and run, what happens? I am able to get a, a, a alert message, but I don't want. I am not getting the B value. How can? So we have to at that time we have to open the inspector developer tools and inside the console option we are using console right we have to open console option there we can see the value okay this is one thing another beauty i would like to say you can see if i specify any variable like a string means if i click on this one see i, I will do the same thing but uh, this time what i want to do is i want to do some more operation see if i click on dot over here as i specify this is a string type what happens is all the string related methods i will be getting over here okay if i click on here i that specified number right i will get only number related methods if i click on this one what will happen all the string related methods i will be getting so if for example if you want to convert to upper case then what i can do simple i can use this method so that that will be converted into upper case you can see now simply click on run so that what happens sorry to upper case to upper case and just click and run syntax error okay why we have this one yeah Okay, okay. I understood. Why have we two upper case here? We have, we kept a, we kept a dot so that reason we throwing error. So just you can see now if I click and run now I will be getting ninety and if you see here three D and capital three D also coming upper case converter upper case also converter. Similar way if you want to know the length of the way string or something any methods you can use lot of methods are there any method you can use based on our requirement. So one more beauty what we have. If a specific string means, I don't want to think about whether this is string related method or number related method. Directly, whatever method you specify, that is specific to that particular string or number only. Like that, we will be getting. Is it clear? Okay, that is the two beauty, two features we have. This is online tool. Similar way, if you want to play with any new features, you can see here JavaScript and uh, TypeScript also there. If you want to play with JavaScript examples also, you can play. And if you want to play with TypeScript examples also, all these are new features. Or if you want to play with enums, you can simply click on that enum example. You will get, and you can see all the stuff. See, you can if you play this one enum. How we can define? How we can get all the things? We can play. If you run it here, you will be able to see all the data also. Okay, so how it is going to convert? Actually, we don't have enums in JavaScript. So how it get converted from here to here? You can see clearly. 
you no need to bother about this conversion because our typescript compiler will compile i why i am showing all this stuff means internally how the angular application is running how the angular application is i am able to see in the browser we should know for that reason only i am saying this one okay each and every typescript file will be converted like this then only we will be able to see the output clear okay if you want to play with anything you can come over here you can see a lot of examples are there if you want to see at the configuration also currently es 2017 you can see now currently our application is running with this uh, this, uh, this standard if you want to play with es 2005 or es 5 standards you can you can also okay so just i want to show you how we, we can compile all the stuff i'm just leaving you getting you understand this is the online tool if you want to play with typescript code without setting anything you can come to this typescript language and click on this play to playground and whatever you want you can play also you can write it over here that is clear okay now next thing if you want to set up if you want to play in online offline how can we do for that purpose what we have to do we have to set up first for that purpose we need to download it or not simply I'll click on download now typescript lang.org i'll click on download what happens they did not give me any executable file they are asking me to run this command to solve to get the software so what is this command npm means node package manager i want to install the software so install keyword i want to install global in my system if you want to install globally in your system then you can use this hyphen g hyphen g here means global if you don't want to install global, if you want to install in particular folder means you can remove this hyphen G. And what software you want to install? TypeScript is the software you want to install. Okay. And TypeScript, if you want to see that, if you want to compile, what happens? TypeScript compiler, TSC, TSC, and file name. You have to use it. Okay. So this is how we can compile it. I will show you. Now, if you want to run this command, if you want to install this command in your application, what we have to do is we have to install Node.js okay you can see here compiler if you want to install you have to install node.js how can i install node.js i am new to this so how can i install node.js there is a separate site called node.js.org if you want to install node.js you can come to this place and node.js.org is the site where we can download the node.js today long support uh, long term support this is lts means long term support this is a uh, long term support is this one and current version is this one okay if you want to download anyone you can able to if my suggestion is just go with this one if download please download this one you, play, uh, you can download this one so what happens here dot msi file is there dot msi So just you can see here dot msi file is there dot msi file means microsoft installer microsoft installer just to double click on this one so that we will be able to install node.js in our systems okay so now you can see here dot msi file you can able to see here once it is installed we will be able to get the node.js so you can see here just uh, the, get that one and click on next if once it is checking for computing space requirement and click on next once it is done what happens is it will take some one or two minutes once it is done this next button will be enabled okay uh, we need to click on next 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 like that so that it will be installed in our system so what is happening is if you install this node.js one more beauty you will get is if you install node.js you will be getting npm also node.js is it will install along with this npm also will be installed for us what is npm node package manager node package manager okay this package main is node package manager also will be installed in our system along with node.js you know need to externally install npm okay i will show you also okay and another thing is i want to let you know once you install this one you will get what is the use of npm what is this npm means node package manager see we know right github so if you want to download any projects, what we are going to do, simply we will go to the GitHub, GitHub login and we will get the repository name and git clone and we are going to get it in our local system. Similar way, if I want to download, if I want to get any software from our using node, we have to use this node package manager. 
how can we get that one is npm js no, npm js npm dot js npm js dot org you can see here in this place all the packages will be there for example i want to install this type script right so if you want to any software if you want to install that software name if you type it over here you will be able to get the software syntax how to install that command you can see simply click on this one you will be finding whatever uh, type script people introduce the same command the same command whatever we are able to see here right the same command we will be able to find it here also you can see now npm install uh, npm install this one see npm install iphone g type script the, using this one we will be able to get the software okay so this is how we will be able to get that one and here also we will be able to get the software so any, any command you can use so what is my intention is node npm is useful for any software if you want to get it you can simply get it from this node package manager not only typescript any software bootstrap or material or any whatever software you want to download it using node.js using node.js i'm specifically saying whatever software you want to download using node.js that software name you can set it in this place so that you will be able to find all the stuff if you want to install no angular also simply if you paste by angular all the packages also you will be getting over here angular cli also okay so simple and just whatever understand purpose whatever software you want to install using node.js you can simply come here npmjs.com and in this place you will be finding all the stuff clear so and i think this one enable should be enabled okay okay computing space okay two times it is running okay once it is it will take some time to compile it once it is computed then this next button will be enabled we will simply click on next button so that it is going to install for us once it is installed we are going to if i want to why we are installing this node this because we want to run this command right once we got that one we can able to see this one okay but uh, how can we understand whether this node is successfully installed in our system or not how can we know for that purpose open our uh, we have to open our node uh, command prompt and we have to specify np node if and v or you freshly joined in a new company and you allocated one system you don't know whether in this system whether node is installed in our system or not so what how can we find it by simply running this command you can identify npm also whether is there or not you want to identify you can run this one and angular is also there or not you can run it using mjc mg icon mg icon icon and this space version command if you run so that you will be getting see now it is showing us uh, next command is enabled so simply click on next so click on this one accept next and see as like java you know to externally set up the path by installing itself they are asking where you want to install you can see by default the program the program files i'm just uh, sticking if you want to change the location you can okay and click on next that's it install that's it it will take one minute then it will install in our system okay two times it was there so i just want to stop this one okay clear now it is going to install in our system once it is done what happens is just uh, we can check with this one okay we can check with this one and this place version for angular checking purpose if you are new to the, uh, the system means if you want to know whether angular setup is there or not if you want to know you have to use these commands okay this is for node.js version checking purpose this is for npm checking purpose so one successful installation if you run this command if you get the version miss that node is successfully installed up or, uh, successfully if you getting any errors or if you don't get anything means that system did not having the node.js software installed in that system we have to install like this so if you want to install node.js what you have to do we have to come to node.js.org and we have to download it manually by clicking on the long support tab, long term support file okay so that's how we will be able to find it clear so once it is done what we have to do we are going to run so we are clear right why we are doing all this stuff so you may think that this is all these things are unnecessary we in our if you want to run the angular application also we need node.js here mainly why we are going to use node.js here what happens is i told you right here we are going to use node.js for three purposes first thing is to run the angular application i am going to use node.js okay to install the software like i skipped all the stuff using node.js we are going to use third party software 
ओके एंड आल्सो आल्सो इफ यू वांट टू इंस्टॉल सीएलआई एंगुलर इज प्रोवाइडिंग ओन सीएलआई कमांड लाइन इंटरफेस इफ यू वांट टू इंस्टॉल दिस एंगुलर सीएलआई आल्सो वी हैव टू यूज नोट जेएस ओनली ओके फॉर दिस थ्री पर्पस ओनली आई एम गोइंग टू यूज नोट जेएस इन आवर एप्लीकेशन रिएक्शन एंड व्हाई आई एम सेइंग दिस वन इज यूजिंग नोट जेएस आल्सो वी कैन वी कैन यूजिंग नोट जेएस आल्सो वी कैन run we can create our own application server side application with our server side web application also we can create so i don't want to give all the information i means i don't want to play with that uh, express js no uh, uh, all the stuff in our angular how much extent we are going to use node js i would like to say these are the three purposes i'm going to use node js not more than that okay you may think that i we are going to discuss node js also not not that more than this not we are not going to discuss using express framework we can develop all the stuff i don't want to discuss those the stuff okay only for these three purpose i'm going to use node js okay so one purpose i'm directly using right now for that reason only i'm using this one i'm installing software once i install this one so this is also useful this is also this time also useful for us that time i know to spend some time here i'm already spending that one how to configure this node we are we are sure once it is done we can open our command prompt and simply run this command so that we will be getting the same version what we have seen in this place okay so node js dot org site where we are where we have seen right node js dot org site 12.5.0 so that we are expecting in this place okay once you get this one what happens i can simply run this command call type script npm install this command i am ready to copy i am copying this one and i am going to run that one also it is it is uh, installing once it is complete uh, finish then we will be able to see that one also finish will come we can able to run this one once we why i am doing all this stuff because i want to test the typescript examples in our local system that there is an online we had seen already i want to test the typescript examples in our local i want to execute i don't want to trust all the time all online online i want to play the typescript in my local system how can i execute how this is typescript is executing in our local we should understand see if you want to write the type to code any editor you can use visual studio means dart net visual studio code is visual, that is what i have told suggestible sublime plus linux people you can use atom also at least may have java people web stamp php people visual studio dart net people any editor you can use there is no restriction but suggestible is visual studio code because because of these features okay because i told you right these are the features we have that's the reason i am suggesting if there is no mandatory to use okay and uh, i think it is going to finish once it is done we will play with this one okay so that we will be getting more confidence enough for that okay once i got that one i can play with this one and then what are the new features we have in typescript we will discuss then we will take some break then we will start after take a 10 minutes 15 minutes break we will take then after we will start pure angular okay how we can play with angular how we can uh, how many ways i can set up okay okay what is the each and every how the application flow first we need to understand application flow if you are able to understand the application flow means you can understand any complex application that uh, that thing is very important that we will discuss after break okay So first uh, we will we will see this one. Okay. Meanwhile, anyone having any doubts or if you are not having any questions, ask me in the chat window. Or every day we will be having doubt session after uh, the classes hour. Okay. Before leave, before closing the class, I would like to ask fifteen minutes or half an hour break. I mean, for only for doubt section, I will keep. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me. Or in between, if you have also, you can ping me in the chat window. I will respond accordingly. Okay. Okay, it is taking some time. Maybe we need to bother. Meanwhile, I would like to install this Node Visual Studio Code also because I want to write a Visual Studio Code also. I want to editor for that purpose. I downloaded Visual Studio Code, right? Simply, I will download that one and I will install that one also because it will take some time. See, just now we downloaded Visual Studio Code also. Simply double click on this if you want. This is optional. Though that's the reason I'm not uh, considering. I'm just uh, showing you. How to install Visual Studio Code also? Already have 
So I'm just uh, just asking. You want to uh, install, reinstall? Okay, no problem. I'm saying accept. This is Visual Studio Code how to install. Okay, next install. That's it. It will install for us. Okay. Okay, but I think Node.js should be finished. Okay, it is going to be finished. Once it is done, we will be getting that uh, latest version. Yeah, some systems may take faster. Sometimes it may take some time. You don't need to worry. We have to wait for that. Okay. Okay. Once it is done, we can check the version also. Okay, both are simultaneously installing so that we will not get any confusion. This is Visual Studio Code. Once it is done, we will be uh, playing with TypeScript code in our local folder anywhere. If you don't want to use this one also, see, before going that, I will write, meanwhile, I will write the TypeScript file one, basic file also. For example, same where A number type I would like to write and I will give 50. Okay, I want to see this output. Okay, so if you want to see the output, what I have to do, console.tag or alert or anything you can use. I'm simply using console and I would like to print it. So now I want to save it in my local. Anywhere you can save, anywhere you can save, any desktop or anywhere you can save it because we are going to install TypeScript globally. So anywhere you can save, I just want to store it in this folder. Okay, so test dot or first dot ts file or something. First time I'm writing right, so first dot ts file I'm going to specify. Dot ts, you can see first observation please, first dot ts, first time we are writing dot ts file. So now if you want to see this output, what we have to do? We have to compile this TS file into JS file. For that purpose, what we need? We need TypeScript software. Then only we will be getting TypeScript compiler. Okay, so that's the reason we are installing. To get the TypeScript software, we need to run the command called TypeScript. This, this command, we have to run it. So if you want to run this command, we need Node.js. So that's the reason we are installing Node.js. Once this node is done, we will be able to run this command so that what happens total types to software will be there so that i can play with type code also this is optional way i'm showing this one means we want to understand each and everything why how the application is rendering how the application is compiling for that knowledge purpose i'm doing this one okay i can skip all this stuff i can go directly the angler also but i want you to understand each and every word why why we are writing how it is going back end how it is compiling all the things I want you to show so that we will get confidence enough and if you make any mistake also we will came to know okay in this place this is what happening so that's the reason okay this is the, like this we can understand clearly that's the reason I'm doing all this stuff okay it should be finished both are simultaneously finishing so once it is done we will be able to play also. See, if you want to use Node, Node plus 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 also, no problem. But this is not a good developer practice, right? So that's the reason I'm not suggesting to use Node plus plus plus. But if you want, you can use it also, no problem. Yeah. Seems, yeah, finished. Now you can see Node is successfully completed. But I am not sure uh, whether it is successfully installed or not. How can we do that one? For that purpose, what we can do? Simply, I want to check now. Node is successfully installed or not. How can we check? Using command prompt, you can simply open command prompt, okay? And there, you can simply type node space iPhone hyphen b. If it is properly installed, you will be getting that version. If it is not properly installed, what happens? You will get errors. Means, if, it, if you are getting errors, means you should know that that node is actually not successfully installed. If you are not getting this, the node is not installed properly. If you are getting this version, means successfully installed. As I said, if you install Node.js, you will get NPM also along with that for free of cost. Okay, so NPM also you, you can check. See, supportable version. I don't know what version is going to get it also. Whatever node is there, that supportable NPM also will be getting for us. I no need to externally install this NPM. Along with this node only, you will be getting that NPM also. Okay, so you can see that also. Okay, once you got these two things means you are you are sure that okay node is there and npm also there so I can run the command. Okay, so now we will see once uh, just it is taking some time. 
but it should be getting you can see now 6.0 is the supportable version of this one so okay no problem see node this whatever we installed node this that word if you see what is the version we installed 12.15.0 so that same version we got it or not in the comment prompt okay we are sure that node is successful install npm is successful install so now what is my intention i want to install type script so what i have to do i have to copy this command and i want to run it in my local system so what i'm going to do simple i'm going to run this one install so that what happens i will be getting type script <coughs> If you are facing any issues inside this Node.js or NPM installing time, please let me know. I will connect to your screen and I will I will fix that error also. Okay. So please uh, let me know after break also. After today or tomorrow also, no problem for me. So anywhere if you are facing issues also, please let me know. I will connect to your screen and I will fix that error also. <coughs> but this is the process you have to keep in mind. <coughs> to play with TypeScript code or to play first time if you want to play with run angular also we have to install this node.js because i need to run the cli installation so cli installation purpose also i need node so one time if you do this is useful for three purpose or multiple purpose also so now what we are doing we got the node.js using node.js the npm package i am installing typescript also once i got this typescript what we have to do i will be able to play with this one now i want to see that one also <laughs> It will not take much time. Simply may have minutes, it will finish. Okay, see now TypeScript got installed successfully. So if you want to still, if you want to know this one also, what you can do, TSC-V. TSC means TypeScript compiler. Whether it is installed properly or not, you want to check, you can see now, 3.7.5. So by seeing this one, we can understand, but still if you have a doubt, are you new to this company, this, uh, this system, then we can type like this. We can understand whether it's successfully installed or not. Okay, done. Now everything is done. So now I want to play with this. What we can do? So I created the application. I created a one project in this place, right? One file in this place. I want to run this type of code now. How can I run? For that purpose, you can simply open command prompt. You install globally. This type script you install globally, so you can type, you can execute any type of code now anywhere in your system, locally. So that's the reason I kept in this place. Any place you can run it. So now I am I kept in this place. I simply come to that path and I want to run this output. So what I have to do is simply I want to see this output of this TS file. If you want to see this type script output directly, we cannot see. We have to compile this one using type script compiler first dot ts file i am in that particular path you can see now i am inside this folder so i am simply running this file okay tsc typescript compiler first time i am running this one if you run this command what will happen now it will generate one more file called five first dot js file after successful compilation it will generate one more file called first dot js file you can see now with the same thing with the JS code, whatever code you have written in this place, the same code will be compiled and it will generate one more new file called JS file. That file is this one. So now we can able to see, right? So we got clarity. How the outcome JS file is generating means because of this simple command TSP first dot TS file. Once you got this one, if you want to see this output, what you have to do? Node space first dot JS file. If you run it, you can able to see the output. This is how all the TypeScript code will be compiled and executed. Is it clear? Any doubts on this, please let me know. First dot TS file, first time we created and we try to see the output. For that purpose, we had run two comments called TSC first dot TS file. So that first dot JS file came. First dot no, using Node.js, I want to see the output. So that's the reason Node space first dot JS. So that I'm able to see the output also. Is it clear? Like this way, how many TypeScript code you want to get it, you can play with. Now, but what is happening if you want to do something, you can have to open those files and all the stuff we have to do. Instead of that, if you use Visual Studio Code, see the same file I would like to open in this place. See Visual Studio Code, if you test that, just now we install and open folder. What happens? You have to choose the path where we have kept this one. In this place, I kept this code. Simply, I will open this total folder. 
ओके सो नाउ आई वांट टू मॉडिफाई दैट टीएस फाइल आई वांट टू मॉडिफाई दैट टीएस फाइल इफ यू वांट टू मॉडिफाई यू हैव टू कम हियर एंड यू हैव टू कंपाइल इन द कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट दैट इज समवट डिफिकल्ट एग्री आर नॉट इफ यू वांट टू मॉडिफाई हियर एंड यू वांट टू सी द आउटपुट यू हैव टू कंपाइल हियर दैट इज समवट डिफिकल्ट बट इफ यू यूज विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड व्हाट विल हैपन ना सिंपली कैन सी नाउ जस्ट आई वुड लाइक टू शो यू सी फर्स्ट एट दिस वन सो आई वुड लाइक टू ऐड सम अदर थिंग पैर बी स्ट्रिंग टाइप आई वुड लाइक टू स्पेसिफाई एंड एस पैर आर समथिंग आई विल स्पेसिफाई हियर Okay, now I want to see this output. So what I can do? Console dot log of b. Okay. Okay. So that what happens? I will be able to see the output also. So what I have to do now? If you try to see the output in the command prompt directly, you cannot get. You can see now. If I try to see the output in this place directly, I will not get it because as like Java, you have to compile it again totally. Otherwise, you cannot see the latest changes. So what I have to do? Again, I have to compile it so that that changes will be updated in the JS file. Then only I will be able to see the output. Is it clear or not? Okay. So if you want to see the output, we have to recompile it. Then only I will be able to get the output. Clear? But what is happening here? I have to do the changes. I have to see the output means like this. This is somewhat irritating. So what I have to do? Instead of using this command prompt, I can use. <laughs> if you want, you can continue like that. But if you want, here I say I told you right. Inbuilt terminal we have. In Visual Studio Code, inbuilt terminal we have. If you want to do some changes here, you can change it over here. Okay. And we are see here something boolean type. Okay. And equal to true or false, you can assign. If you want to see this output, console dot log of. Okay, sorry. Okay, and see if you specify, you will be able to get that output also. See now, if you want to see the output, what I have to do? I will save this one. I will not compile it at all. Okay, see control C. i will save this file okay i will not compile it all i will simply try to see the output what will happen i will get only first two things only i will not get anything see first if you don't keep the extension also no problem if you keep a better okay if you don't keep extension also no problem but better you can keep it okay i have some error in this place so that's what i got it parent mdl hote hain mode is not recognized Okay. See, because I I am inside the flip file only. Okay. Node is not recognized. It is showing. Okay. Which is a new idea. Man, the local man is going to do the file. Ah, okay. Sir, I did. But it's not a problem. But it's file only. Right. So we did change this hmm? one. Save hmm. it. And now node says first of all, this file I should be seeing. Bandana What chandra. happened is node is not. It is not showing like this. Not recognizing. Uh, no. Okay, so let's say the power cell. Uh, power cell is going to work. It should work. Okay, command prompt. Okay, no problem. I can choose it first. Okay. Okay, I will delete it because some uh, actually the, in this place we have some error. No problem. You can use this one also. I would like to show you. Okay. <coughs> Debug terminal. Okay, I should be getting node space first. I did the same name only, right? So no problem. Node is not recognized. Okay, it, here it is not able to install this. And node space hyphen v. If you press by, it is not recognizing. So that's the reason we are getting <coughs> this issue. We will not get. Normally we should not get. Okay, the default cell, power cell. I have to use it so that I should be getting. No space. Okay, I'll close it. I'll delete it. I'll open it again. Actually, this is this issue will not come. Okay, if you are getting miss, let me know. I'll I'll show you because we updated node right. Actually, we have to restart it so that I will be getting. But uh, first time I am using, so maybe it is, Visual Studio Code is I think it is better. I can close it and again open it so that I will uh, I will not face that issue. I'm sure. You can see because node install later. If you open this one, that the latest node will be recognizing. That's the reason it is recognizing. I will simply open this one. Okay. Now, if I open this debug, you will not face that issue. View terminal. Okay. Here I have this one. Now I want to see this output before compiling. Okay. Node space 
hyphen v if i type i will be getting that one got it no space first if i specify i will get the output also but i did not get the t value how come because i need to compile it first i have to compile it then only i will be getting so dot ts exception because type suit always will accept dot ts file only so that's the reason i did not mention if you mention also well and good if you don't mention also no problem okay now if you run the same command you should be getting true value also previously i did not get now i got because i did change i did not compile it now i compiled it so that i got the output right got it or not each and every time as like java we have to compile it whatever changes you are doing once you done the changes you have to compile it then only it is going to see so is the output for us this is how internally all the type script will compile it and we will be able to see the output okay now i'll come back to type script features what is the type script features we have what are the new things we have first thing first thing any language we will specify data types right so what are data types we have three types of data types we have okay built in types okay second thing is any type third type is the use a different data type okay so what are the built in types we have so built in types what are those things is string type number type <laughs> boolean type okay boolean type and uh, ये नल अंडिफाइंड ओके एंड ई नम्स ओके एंड वाइड दीज आर द बिल्ट इन टाइप्स वी हैव बाय डिफॉल्ट एंगुलर पीपल आर यूजिंग दिस वन एंड टाइप्स टू आल्सो वी हैव द सेम थिंग ओके दीज आर द बिल्ट इन टाइप्स वी ऑलरेडी प्लेड विद स्ट्रिंग नंबर बुलियन नल एंड अंडिफाइंड ई नम्स हाउ कैन वी प्ले फॉर दैट पर्पस यू कैन सी नाउ सिंपली इफ यू वांट टू डिफाइन एनी वेरिएबल डी एंड नल null type also you can mention null value also you can mention okay okay so and also where uh, e or something undefined okay okay and you can type the space by undefined value also undefined means simply we not assign any value undefined means simply we will define the variable what is the difference between null and undefined means if you see the type of the variable where type of variable of d and type of variable of e if you see then you will see the difference okay console dot log of console dot log of both are having the null value only but if you see the type of the variable then you will be game to know what is the type of this variable object you will get okay and uh, in this place if you see the type of variable undefined you will get that's why uh, just uh, uh, how can we know the difference people will may ask different for interview question this one so that's the reason i just want to show you what is the difference between null and undefined people may ask like this so at that time both are having the null value only but the difference is if you see the type of the variable that time we will came to know see first null type is a type of variable object second one is null undefined only so that is the only way we can differentiate this null and undefined okay so and another thing is enums enums means multiple constant value if you want to store it in one variable that time we are going to use enum using enum keyword enum and some constant name any variable name and you can assign all the constant variables constant values like a array uh, okay that is how that's called uh, enum concept okay uh -huh. i will show you in our real time scenario but this uh -huh. is a uh, es6 feature es6 feature okay and uh, another thing is void where exactly we are going to use void means simply function yeah or something you can specify and in this function what i have to do simply return a plus b or something i will specify so, sorry a plus instead of x plus y or something i will specify okay e this year x plus y we have to pass it here either you can mention like this number type Comma y number type. If you are passing like this, sorry, if you are passing like this means what happens? You are strictly saying that this method will only accept numbers, two numbers only. If you pass strings, you will try error. Okay, like this. And if you are expecting output also number only. Like that situation, you can specify like this. But sometimes you may want to do the same operations, but you don't want to return anything. You want to do some operations, but you don't want to return anything. That time you can go with this void operation. Wide man, wide par, wide type. Okay, that's these are the the built-in types we have. Okay, built-in types are these. Now coming to any type. What is any type? 
see in typescript or in angular if you define any variable like this for example where c or some f and if i define if i define like this and i forgot to specify the type what will happen what is the default type default type is any type so means whatever if you externally specify any also okay if you don't specify forget to specify the type of any variable and you define the variable uh, then you forget to specify any variable means that this default type is any type any type only it is applicable for typescript and it is applicable for total angular applications anywhere in your angular application if you forget to specify the type means that default type is any type okay and if you assign some value simply if you specify some string value also it is going to accept okay if you specify some number also it is going to accept so you may think that i did not mention type so any type if you mention it is going to accept string also it is going to accept number also it is going to accept object also it is going to accept array also it is going to accept enums also anything any default name itself we can understand any type is going to accept okay so that's the reason default type is any type in angular and type default type is any type and this is the uh, and if you space is any type means that will be strictly accept that one only if you forgot to specify here also default type is any type means it is accepting string number boolean anything is going to accept okay so that is called in a, a, any type the third one is user defined error type user defined error type real time we are going to use more frequently where exactly we are going to use see for example i have a employee record in my application in my angular application i want to display the employee details i am getting the details from the back end okay that employee details employee records are 100 records i have all the 100 employees details i want to display in the html page how can we de display for that purpose each employee will contain employee id employee name employee salary employee designation employee mobile number multiple things are there okay so if we want to display all the 100 employees names only then i can specify that name and i can specify the string and i can get the value if i want to specify only salary i can specify number type i can get it but i want to get this time i want to get all the details of each employee each employee will contain id name salary designation mobile number email id all the things at a time i want to fetch all these details using any one of this built in type can i fetch at a time employee details all the employee each and every employee will contains id name designation salary date of birth rank, mobile number all the stuff i want to get all the details at a time how can we get it how can we get it at that situation we are going to define our own user defined data type our own user defined data type that's where exactly we are going to use user defined data type i will show you in a e-commerce project real time uses okay so user defined data type also we can define how can we define is using classes or using interfaces we can define our own using class or interface we can define our own user defined data type we can define i will show you okay these are the built-in types we have okay anyone who are developing wherever we are using or uh, in a typescript or angular we have to follow any one of this approach only okay then after what is the type next what we have functions okay functions also can be declared in three ways in angular we can define in typescript also whatever we are learning in typescript all those things are applicable to angular also okay so because we are using main language as a typescript in angular so that's the reason so angular normal function yeah we had discussed this one just now this one this is the common method for all the time okay second wave declaration is anonymous function where sub equal to some uh, method name we will not have we will have function keyword and then we will pass that variables and we are called we will call this is second approach third way approach is arrow functions this is a java 8 feature namely lambda expression people will call are arrow functions what is that is just the es6 feature this one so what happens is we will not have the function keyword also first time we have function function name and some functionality second time we don't have function name this name we are going to use it but third time what happens is we will not keep the function keyword also simply for example reminder if you want to get 
then what we are going to do simply whatever parameters you want to pass that parameter only we are going to pass it for example i want to pass number one value and using arrow function i can get it n percentage equal equal to two n percent two equal equal to zero means that is n i will print otherwise n plus two or something i will print it okay if condition this is a ternary operator if this is called arrow function so in this place if you have multiple lines you can use curly bracket also if you have single line you can go with the single line ternary operator also, as you wish okay so here we will not have function keyword also only parameters only we are going to pass and we will be writing with single line this is a shortcut form of function writing okay and also this is scope of this keyword also restricted because of that reason nowadays the angular using most of the places we are using arrow functions only it will reduce the code size and it will improve the performance also okay because of that reason nowadays people are using preferring this one only when you want to create a function go for uh, uh, arrow functions if you want to if you follow this one also no worries no restricting also but suggestible is this one okay that's all these, these are the three ways we can define the function so i want to play with this one so first way we have seen now i want to play with this one so i want to return something okay i will not specify here any type means any only default will be there okay return Express way and this way. If you want to see this output, what I have to do? Console dot. Okay, and add of something. Okay, we will call like this. Um, some twenty thirty or forty. You can give. Or fifty comma forty. Okay, I'll give like this. So I am able to get the output now, right? This is how we will be. We will be able to see the output. Another way of function declaration is what? Either var or letter constant you can use. Okay, I just want to show with var first. Later I will show you the letter and constant also. Okay, then sub keyword you can use. Okay, and function. A simple examples I am giving. Like this way, anything you can do. I am just giving one simple examples. M comma yeah. Return m minus m. If you want to see this output, what we are going to do? Console dot log of. These are the things you may think that this is the basics, but I just want to show you the new features. That's the reason I'm just keeping. Okay, uh, and and also we have to compare with it. Then only we can understand, right? So that's the reason I'm doing like this part, this stuff. Now this one also okay. Another thing, uh, anonymous function, arrow function. So what I can do, reminder or something. And this time I'm not going to give the function keyword directly. I'm going to pass n number and I'm going to use this arrow keyword. Okay, and then n percentile. <coughs> you got remind reminder if you want to do, you have to follow like this way only, right? Zero means you will be getting. This is a reminder. Uh, I want to know this one. Sorry, capital letter. Okay. N, colon, N plus 30. Oh, thank you. you can do whatever you want. Done. Okay. Now, if you want to see this output, single line of code, we are, we are able to see. And console.log of, if you see what will happen, you will be able to get reminder. Okay. Of only one value, I'm going to pass five. Then what I'm expecting 35 I will be getting because remainder is one. So definitely my condition is saying so false condition, ternary operator, false condition will exist. If I specify four or six, remainder will be zero. So what happens? My condition will be true. So six we are expecting. Okay, we'll save this one and we'll try to see the output. If you want to see the output, what I have to do? I have to compile it. So first I'm going to compile it. Then three at a time I'm getting this one 30, 90 and 20 and 35, 6 I'm getting. I'm expecting the output. So we'll see that one. See 90, 20, 35, 6. See that if I am getting this remainder is zero, so five plus thirty, thirty five I am getting. The six I am getting six equal to remainder is zero, so I am getting six only. True condition true, six only I am getting. Here fifty minus thirty twenty. Now one more beauty I would like to add. What is that? Is simply see. Here we are defining the functions in three ways. 
another thing is if we are passing each and every time parameters right this parameter passing also can be done in three ways okay first one is default second one is optional this is very 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 important then rest parameters these are the three things we have passing the parameters also can be done in three ways first one is default second one is optional with symbol symbol this one rest parameter means three dots okay so how we can pass the parameters here you can see now currently i am passing this method i am passing this method i want to see the output see for example if you want to see this output okay so this method i'm calling okay now if i if i am pa i am passing two parameters i am calling like this no problem now i have a requirement i want to call the same method but this time i want to pass only one parameter only will it work i am getting error directly in the same thing applicable for here also same thing applicable to the third way also, third method also so what happens only one parameter is going to work so if you want to make this one work see if you call this one i am getting error it is expecting two parameters you are passing one how come so it is not going to work I, the error will throw but i want to make this one also work i want to make this one also work how can i do that one for that purpose we have three options either you can assign default value for this variable equal to 90 or something any value you can assign so that what happens if you pass it to the second value this value this value will take if you don't pass it means default value will take okay so i will show you now i can show you to now another one i will show you here i want to call the same thing but now this time what i want to do is this time what i want to do is here i want to uh, okay here i would like to show you better this time i want to call the same method only but this time i want to pass sub method i want to pass one one parameter only but this time i want to make this also this also work how can i go do is just i can make the second parameter as a optional also so that both will work understood or not so optional if you are making means you will not pass any problem you can see now both are same if you have know the default value okay but sometimes you don't know the value of that variable so what you have to do at that time you can make that one as a optional this is very 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 important in our real time scenarios most of the places we are going to use this optional parameter okay keep in mind i will show you also where exactly we are going to use okay so now i will show you this output so what i can do simply you can compile this one now if you see the output you will be able to see now clearly you can see 90 plus 40 50 plus 90 140 came and 20 and 50 if i pass what happens not a number came because 50 minus nothing we are passing so what is happening not any not any means not a number came okay if you want to handle this scenario what you have to do here you can put the condition if any is there do the condition do this stuff if you want to handle this scenario because i don't want not a number i want to handle this scenario also what i can do simply the yes, else condition i'm going to keep and i can do whatever i want return m minus 20 or something so that what happens i will be getting the value r 10 i will give that is better r 2 also you can do no problem okay so whatever you want you can give it so that what happens if you will not get that n a number not a number you, you will not get got it or not so this is how we can see now 20 48 came right or not okay 50 minus 2 48 came not a number not came okay got it or not this is how we will be able to do but say same thing i have a requirement like this now i want to call the same method but this time i want to pass more parameters now this time i want to pass more parameters like this 45 25 i don't know how many parameters i'm going to pass i have a requirement like this so how i want to handle this scenario also how can i do that one for that purpose what we can do na here instead of default value you can keep some three dots three dots like this you can keep and you don't know how many values you are going to get right you can read it like a array so that all the three methods are going to support you can see if you pass less also no problem if you pass more also no problem if you pass same also no problem all the scenarios i can able to handle with rest parameter if you want to read the 53 value what you can do 0 1 2 3 array of 3 if you specify you will get if you want to read only three value y of 1 if you want to read this one y of 0 like that you can read it so that you can do whatever operations you want is it clear
okay these are the three ways we can pass that if it is less parameters we are going to we can use default or optional parameter if it is more parameters we can go for rest parameter okay real time this is also nowadays frequently we are going to use so just keep in mind in while writing the business logic we are going to do this thing also is it clear okay so these are the three types of functions three types of parameters also next thing is arrays arrays we know a lot of methods we have same whatever javascript we have all the javascript methods are going to support array methods are going to support but here new feature i can say is array will accept only similar data type values agree or not see i want to show you one new feature in this place okay so what is the new feature is simply where number array for example my marks are something i can specify marks array number array i will specify and it will accept only number similar data type where exactly we are going to use arrays similar data type if you want to store it in one variable then we are going to use arrays function but uh, i want to store number also i want to store string here also will it accept will throw error for us reason is it will accept only string number related methods on number values only but i want to make this one also work how can i do that one and also i want to pass true or false value also how can i make this one work for that purpose you can use concept called tuple concept tuple means you you can specify type like any type default internally any type we are going to specify so that all the things are going to support this is the another feature we have and what is the use of this one is simply uh, init all the array methods are going to support it but only difference is multiple type of values i can store it in one variable that is the only best feature we have okay clear okay so these are the things we have whatever things if you want to, for example if you want to read this one so what you can do simply this is a tuple right if you want to read this one what you can do console dot log off if you want to read that where a marks value are simply i will read this some extent okay so now i can easily get it on right so simply i just want to show you marks of if you want to see the marks of cni i want to print it so marks of what you can do 0 1 2 3 right three value if you space so you will be able to read the marks cni value save it and you will be able to get the output okay for uh, that i think uh, we have to handle this place okay i would like to disable this one as uh, so of now i just want to okay i will see i will compile it i will get some error i will show you okay <coughs> okay you understood right you can see now see now i got that okay inside the function i have I had kept inside that one, so that's the reason we are getting this stuff. You don't have to worry. Here you can come over here. At the end we can keep it this one. Okay. Now we will be able to see that one. Where? Our letter constant also we can use. Now if you compile this one, you will be you will get the output. I got it or not so tuple concept this is tuple concept another feature a six features only all these are a six features another thing is array destruction concept also introduced what is array destruction means see right now if you want to read this array value what i am doing just i am keeping like this but another way also i can read it like a i can define something like a here like this simply i will define something i1 comma i2 comma i3 comma i4 how many variables are there that many i can put it okay and if you want i can assign this value to uh, marks whatever array we have that cut up we have that one i'm going to define if you want to read the same a uh, true value r3 only i want to read it then what i can do is simply i no need to bother about uh, all the index values simply i'll call i3 or i4 i4 value for this way i'm done i will be getting three only this is called array destruction this is called array destruction 
if you want to read the values not like a index you want to read this value like this means you can array description concept you can use it okay you can see now just uh, you can run it so that you can see say any any came this is called array destruction so how many values you have this is how we can handle the hacking okay means some people may think that if you print like this means hackers can understand array this is array but if you keep like this no one can understand that is an array okay so now another thing okay this is a function next thing is classes class syntax you know class syntax right so class means class is a collection of, collection of properties methods and constructor using class syntax what we can do simply we are going to uh, define the methods multiple functionalities purpose multiple things we are going to do if you want to access those methods and properties what we are going to do simply using we are going to create an object for that class using that object i will be able to access all the methods and properties okay so by this we can conclude the all the types of features if you want to extra features if you want to know you can come to this place i'm going to share one material also that material will contain lot of examples all the stuff but for your understanding purpose that types of examples if you want to play more you can come over here and you can play with this okay we will take some 5 minutes 10, 10 minutes break okay and then we will start start firstly with angular now i would like to start after break i would like to start how can we play with angular how many ways i can play with angular how many ways i can set up the angular those things we will discuss we will take some 15 minutes break exactly 95 97 is there right so uh, 9 25 will start is it 